why not get liposuction at the same time you're getting breast augmentation? Better yet, why not use your own fat to give that bosom a whole new level of bounce? Learn all about natural breast augmentation here on The Younger You. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living And the good just gets better, keeps it giving Not even close to the end, it's just beginning Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah And if it's good, I won't even worry anymore To call my care, still can kick them all out the door Go on a try, come and tell me what you're waiting for Move and keep them going till your life is overflowing, yeah Today on The Younger You, we're talking about a procedure called natural breast augmentation. Now, this requires no general anesthesia, requires less downtime in recovery, and changes the shape of the breast without the use of an implant. Dr. Barson is the man behind this procedure. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Okay, natural breast augmentation. Explain it to people at home in layman's terms, please. Well, augmentation just means to make better, bigger, whatever, yes. change the shape. Now, augmentation can be done using an artificial implant like saline or silicone, which most people know about. Yes. Uh, but a lot of people don't know that you can actually do it with your own body fat, which is the natural way of doing it because uh, the female breast is primarily just fat. That I did not know. Yes. I didn't know that. But now you're saying that, I'm imagining over time when people lose weight, gain weight, their breasts get bigger and smaller, don't they? They do to a degree. Now, a lot of women will tell us that one of the first fatty areas to lose is their breast. And so dieting is kind of a conundrum. Okay. If they diet, which they want to do, the first thing that goes is their breast, which is the, that's the last thing they want to go. I'm sure. Because um, also true. with a fuller breast on a lady and a, and a woman, it really does make a more curvaceous look for you as well, doesn't it? Well, yes. And it's... Uh, you know, they're very important to women, yeah. very important. Okay, you talk about doing a natural breast augmentation. Talk us through what you do to begin with, because it does involve liposuction first. Yes, and of course you have to have the fat from someplace, and yes. we don't have any technology. You can't borrow it from me. Uh, that's right. <laughs> we don't have that technology. <laughs> uh, so we have to take it from the person, which actually usually is very desirable, because a lot of times a person has an area they don't like. So does it matter where you take the fat from. So when I say that, are these fat cells different to these fat cells? Or they're just fat cells? They're pretty much just fat cells. We've transferred successfully fat from pretty much every body area to the breast. Any fat cells sturdier than the other? <laughs> well, yes, actually there are. Uh, now, and a lot of times a woman will tell you that they have an area that's resistant to dieting. Okay. They'll say, you know, I get really nice, except for this one area, it just will not change. And I tell them, well, that might be a preferred place to get the fat from because, well, if it's durable here and won't go away when we transplant it, it will maintain those same characteristics. In other words, it doesn't know it moved. Okay. And it'll still be diet resistant. Now, of course, I'm going to see, and everyone at home as well, how the procedure's done because you're going to do both liposuction and the breast augmentation on our patient. But talk me through the procedure first. You do the liposuction, and then where are you storing those fat cells before you inject into the breast? Well, originally I was trained to use a centrifuge mm -hmm. to separate the fat from the fluid. But uh, with subsequent uh, research, it's shown that actually the less you do to the fat, the better it survives. And That's so we just uh, decant it by gravity rather than uh, put it into a centrifuge and spin it at 3,000 RPM because it's much more gentle on the fat cells. How soon after liposuction would you do the injection in the breast? Immediately. Oh, on the same day? Oh, yes, we have to. Uh, we have tried... Uh, freezing fat and we've had some success but the complication rate was uh, more than I found acceptable it was like a three percent complication rate so we quit doing that okay. now in the future there may be a technology that's developed where you can freeze it almost indefinitely and and then that will be different but right now no okay now we have been told because we've talked about these procedures before that fat cells when you remove them and place them in another part of the body you don't have a success rate of all of the fat cells. So we have 100% fat that's placed. How much of those fat cells survive that transplant? Mm -hmm. Well, typically it's about 80% survives. Uh, that's both from our own experience and yes. from research that's been done. It's about an 80% survival rate. So 
we usually uh, put more fat in than we know that uh, will survive so that we get the result we want. Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to ask some questions that might sound a bit strange to you, but it's what people would ask at home. When you're putting the fat into the breast, are you just placing it at the top of the breast or are you placing it at the sides and underneath as well? It depends on the person. Uh, a lot of women, after they've had children, they get kind of a ski jump shape. Yes. And so, and then we try to put more fat at the top. At the top. And because it not only is a ski jump, but there's also some drooping that occurs. And when you put fat higher, it'll actually lift the breast up. So when you say higher, do you mean higher up on the higher chest? Higher up on the chest wall. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Barson. After the short break, Dr. Barson and I are going to have a little bit more of a chat about the procedure called natural breast augmentation. Then we're going to head in to meet with our patient, Christine. I feel like it's going to help me get my confidence back. Be sure to head over to theyoungeryou.tv to stay up to date with all things Younger You. Well, it's all about natural breast augmentation today and Dr. Barson is filling us in on some of the questions that you have sent in to us. And the first question is, Dr. Barson, if you've had implants removed, okay, would this procedure be an ideal case for, for you to take on? Yes, and we do that. We have uh, women have the implants taken out because of one reason or another they don't like them they just too heavy, whatever. Um, uh, we usually have them wait four to six months for complete healing. Complete healing before the, we then uh, transfer fat into the breast. Okay, uh, that's, that's an interesting question within itself. When you say you would like the patient to wait four to six months, what damage is happening when you take the implant out? Well, all implants form a scar capsule around them. Uh -huh. uh, and that's actually a, a skill just being able to carve that capsule out after the implant. It's not just pulling an implant out. You also have to remove the scar capsule. And then that has to reheal back down. And we like to give it a good four to six months of healing before we challenge the breast with uh, fat. Okay, interesting. So is there any chance of infection within that four to six months? And you've already said to me that you don't take the, net, the breast implants out they would normally go somewhere else first. Yes, that's true. Uh, it needs to be somebody that takes a lot of implants out to get good at that, taking that capsule out of there. Mm. Uh, Can I ask you, why do you feel, this is one of my questions, not a viewer question, why you feel a natural breast augmentation is better than a breast implant? Well, uh, there's a couple of answers. One is breast implants have a lot of problems. Well, they can have a lot of problems. But hasn't technology and moved on now and they're getting better and better? Not really. It's still an implant and, you're b and they're still prone to either breaking or moving around or developing scar capsules or, or any number of other things. Uh, the best thing to put into the breast as far as an augmentation is what it's made from originally, which that is That makes fat. sense to me. Um, and implants are not permanent. They, uh, if you live it's long enough, you know, they recommend you have them replaced and put in another set. And so um, natural is uh, kind of the way to go, yeah. I think. Okay, I want to ask you, what do you feel is the best part of having a natural breast augmentation? Well, the best part is, is and, and maybe we just select for this, but women don't want something foreign inside of them. Mm. And that's the most common thing I hear is, uh, is we're putting something natural back in them so they feel like it's still them. It's not them with something that's not really them. Okay, I appreciate those answers as well, Dr. Barson. Well, now it's time to meet Christine to find out why she wanted a natural breast augmentation and watch as Dr. Barson performs this amazing procedure. I am Christine. I am 51 this week, but next week I have a birthday. So I'll be 52. And I'm going to have natural augmentation. Okay, well, how are you today? Are you feeling good? Is, I feel great. Did you sleep good? I did. Is the calming medication kicking in? Do you feel pretty relaxed and everything? Well, I have six beautiful children, and when I was expecting my number three child, so more than 25 years ago, um, my husband then had an affair, <laughs> and it devastated me. And we stayed married, but the pain, I have internal scars, you know, um, 
if your very best friend turns to something or someone besides you, you get pretty severe self-esteem issues. And I think, what could she possibly have that I don't have? Because I have friends that think I'm kind of amazing. So um, I hid that. I buried it for a long time, but I was very aware every day that I didn't have these beautiful voluptuous breasts and I figured that must be why he's looking other places because I'm just not that Barbie doll image it's not real and so genuinely every day for more than 25 years half of my lifetime I have wished and wanted to have augmentation but it's not ever been something that was in my budget I was very torn between it's something that's vanity or I don't know, just only for wealthy people or something. Um, and I realize as I've gone through different levels of depression that it's for me too. It's something I really, really want. My kids are excited for me. Um, I feel like it's going to help me get my confidence back. I'm so excited. So we've done all the marking and everything. So um, if there's no other questions that you have, We'll go ahead and start, okay? Okay. Let's Are go. you anxious? I'm very. Are you motivated? Super excited. Are you up? I am ready. For oh, okay. A Let's go ahead and new do body. it. body. Bring it on. <laughs> After the break, let's check back in with Christine to find out a little bit more why she felt she needed this procedure. It's better, and I love to serve people, so I need to feel good about myself. If you're empty, it's really hard for you to give. Closed captioning for the younger you is brought to you by Mindful Medical. Like us on Facebook for updates on the show and how to join the younger you conversation. Well, this procedure is where we take fat from some body part and put it in another body part. And the most common thing we do is breast augmentation uh, because the female breasts are primarily just fat. And so you can use fat as a uh, substitute for you know, breast implant, saline or silicone, and it's all natural, has natural feel, natural movement, and uh, a lot of women feel better about it just because it is a natural substance. It's not something that's foreign. I have been looking for years and dreaming and wishing and wanting and price checking, and I've been actually to several different doctors, and so I feel like I'm fairly educated in going into the procedure, and I feel the most confident with the natural breast augmentation. Because the tumescent anesthesia is quite a bit different from general anesthesia. It's much safer and we get a better result. And so what we do is we take that fat out, uh, in a, what we call smarter liposuction. We take that fat out, uh, we process it minimally. The mistake a lot of docs make is they use short cannulas and they work here and they work from here. It's almost impossible to get this smooth. If this is not smooth, women are going to like it. And so you have to make, see how long the path that is? You have to go clear from one end, clear to the other. Uh, and then we re-inject it in certain patterns into the place that we're uh, uh, of concern, in this case the breast, uh, and make sure that it has very even distribution uh, in parts that doesn't uh, cause any problems. I want things that are healthy. I want to be able to enjoy my kids and my grandkids and other friends. You know, I've talked with people who've had the procedures and I know there's a lot of different challenges and um, maybe sometimes dangerous if, you know, I really, really wanted it and so I was willing to do the under the muscle, do silicone implants. I wanted something that looks natural but then when I heard about this, I went, two for one, I win. You, you file off my thighs and just lift them up for me. <laughs> Women hate their legs to touch. Either at the top of their thigh or at the knee. It's a hateful thing. I don't know how many thousands of women say, oh, I hate my thighs to touch. But it's very common that women have children and uh, in the process of having children and uh, you know lactation and nursing kids, that a lot of women uh, will lose the breast shape and the breast volume a lot of times. And it's totally different afterwards. And so they want 
especially if they're finished with uh, having babies and nursing them, they want to have something that they had before in the past. Uh, but we do also have women that, have, that uh, want to have children in the future and nurse, and, that, and we can do that too. So either after they're finished nursing, just want to get back to what they used to be, or uh, if they uh, want to have another child or two and still nurse, they can still do it. 25 years was probably just the turning point. I felt like I had fine, average size breast. I, was, I felt in balance of my, the rest of my body. And then after nursing six kids and you get engorged and then deflated and then engorged again, you know, um, it comes and goes and now it's stretched out tissue, not just empty. It's, it's not very pretty. <laughs> it's not flattering, so you don't feel confident that way. Oh, well, you've got wonderful fat. Huh? You have marvelous fat. Well, when you first put fat into a breast or any body part, it doesn't belong there, actually. It's what I call, call homeless fat. It's not hooked up to the blood supply, and it's very similar to a skin graft. So if, we, if you have a piece of skin that got burned badly, they can take some skin from another place and put it on there like a Band-Aid, and it'll live. And it lives because it can absorb oxygen and nutrients from the cells around it until it, it has its own blood supply. And so when we put fat into a body area, uh, initially, uh, it doesn't have a blood supply. It's absorbing oxygen and nutrients from the cells around it. But after about two months, uh, the body will grow little blood vessels up into that new fat and hook up to it. And from that point on, it's just fat, just like the fat everybody has anywhere. You know, I was in my 30s and thinking, I've got the breast of an 85-year-old woman. They just, they're empty balloons. They've been deflated and they just hang on my chest. It's it's embarrassing. It would be really hard to go to this new, my Mr. Wonderful, and, and say, hey, guess what, you know. I want him to just, this is a full package deal and here I am. <laughs> I want to be confident to just love him with my whole heart and soul and, and be me. Your foot down now. Let's just see how these look now. It's been tough. And I've juggled it for 25 years. I'm excited that I can put on a swimsuit and it can just be me. I won't have to tuck and pin and hide anything and wear incredible bras anymore. I just, I'm excited to just be me. Well, as I always say, this is my favorite part of the show. It's transformation time. Let's check out Christine's before and after shots. Christine, before we go any further, at the beginning of your episode, you were doing these procedure because you were single. I am. You wanted to get out and about <laughs> and get it cracking. Well, <laughs> I just want to say congratulations because now you're engaged. Thank you. Was that because of us? Um, <laughs> Do you like how I'm no. taking the credit for me? No, um, I was already midway through this before I met him. Okay. And he said, it doesn't matter. He would have loved me anyway, but he just thought, this is pretty cool, you know? Okay. He's very supportive. Really? Yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you that. So this is a guy, all right, that you've met. You've already started the conversation of having the procedure. And he says, it's A-OK, -okay. you know, just go along. I'm happy with whatever. Well, I didn't bring it up to him until after we were engaged. <laughs> Before you got uh, yes. the rock. <laughs> well, he knew that I was having surgery and he was concerned. Did he, did he know and what type of surgery? No, no, most people don't know. I, my kids know. Okay. Well, now more people will know. Oh, of course, the whole, <laughs> whole of Utah is going to oh. see it. Um, um, Dr. Barson, do you feel, and when I say this, it's not a reflection of what was just being said. Sure. Do you feel that a lot of women don't discuss these things? And I want to say husband, in your case, it was uh -huh. a different scenario. But do you feel that women don't necessarily talk about this? To their husbands? Yeah. 
old friends in, in that no, way. No, uh, well, uh, there's two subsets. One one is very public about it, and they want to tell everybody, and it's the, the, the greatest thing I've ever <laughs> done. And then there's other people that want to go into stealth mode. <gasps> you know, they don't want anybody to know outside of just the minimum few people that have to know. Yeah. Uh, but pretty much all the husbands are, are uh, engaged with it, and, and it's a good thing because, you know, this is one of the procedures where everybody wins. Absolutely. I'm leaving that alone. <laughs> there you go. I'm leaving that alone, Dr. B. We always go too far here. Right? Um, did you feel um, less sexy or less womanly? Or Prior was to the procedure? Yes, that's what I I'm did. Okay, well, yeah. that's what I want to talk because about. Because I've nursed six babies. I hope babies. I said that the right way. Oh, you too. Yeah, good. Totally Thank good. you. Um, I nursed six children, and I wouldn't trade them for a minute or mm. anything. I mean, I've worn a padded bra forever. Yeah. Um, so most people don't know that there's anything different okay. unless I've told them because I didn't go super enlarged. I just went to what they've seen me for 25 years. Exactly. It's just now it's not a padded bra. When you, I'm going to ask you a personal sure. question here if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Um, when you stand in front of the mirror mm -hmm. and before you had the, the natural breast augmentation, what would go through your mind if you were in your underwear? Would Tell us you must have had some thoughts. I know I do mm. when I'm getting ready and I look in the mirror, things sure. go through my mind. Sure. What goes through yours? Uh, there was some disappointment, but mostly because my ex cheated on me. Oh. So had he been faithful, I probably would have been comfortable in my own skin. I would have just said, this is part of growing older, this is part of having children and nursing them versus being thrown away and you feel like garbage. You know, you're self-esteem is shattered and so then it was I am single and I'm gonna start dating again and uh -huh. somebody <laughs> thank you and somebody's gonna say uh, y that was false advertising you know after we get married and the bra comes up they'd go um, that's not what I thought I was getting <laughs> anyway you, you might want to edit that <laughs> uh, I, no, it's real you it know is. what? That's real. And we're not going to edit that part okay. because <laughs> I actually think it's really your honest opinion. It and is. that's what people want to know. It's very and real. And I want you to know that, you know, it's not because of the way you look that, you know, I know you felt like you were saying, oh, yeah. I felt like I was a piece of garbage. Or, yeah. And it's sad. And that's not the case it because you're, you're a strong woman. I am. You know? I am. And I'm so happy. And I met a wonderful man and he said the same thing. He said, Honey, I already loved you before I ever knew that you were doing this. He said that wouldn't have mattered at all, but he said it's important to him that I felt good about myself. He said, I think it's wonderful that you did that. I think you look gorgeous. Well, thank and you. And you have a new, whole new life ahead of you. Congratulations you. on your thank engagement. You. I think it's wonderful. Well, a natural breast augmentation is a great alternative way to boost that bosom using your own fat. Christine was ready to get back out there and not only did she find a more confident and beautiful self, she also found herself a fantastic new man and of course is engaged. For more information about Dr. Barson or our show, head over to our website at theyoungeryou.tv and I'll see you next week. What happens when dental work goes horribly wrong and how will Dr. Madden fix a past dentist mistake? Find out next week on The Younger You. This is a really big show with a lot of work that you've performed on our patient today. Yeah, we did a lot of work. Okay, we're talking about a collapsed bite to begin with. The Younger You set provided by Madison McCord Interiors.